Hello everyone, it's Jennifer and thank you for joining me today. I had a long lost project. Well, actually it wasn't lost because I didn't realize that I hadn't recorded it. And I came across, I keep, I keep little scraps in these little containers here. And when I looked in, it looked like I saw some paperclip chain, but then I saw some beads and realized I had started this project and never put it in a video or never recorded it for one of the tutorials. And it's using some of the gorgeous paperclip chain from Jesse James Beads that I have in my stash. Also some beads from the Daisy Chain Bead Mix. I will put a link in, my descri in the description for the other project that I did. I, uh, maybe there's, oh, there's two projects. I have them right here. I did, I made this gorgeous little bracelet piece of something there. Made the gorgeous little bracelet and there's another bracelet. Oh, right here. Using some silver silk and more. And then I was going to make a necklace too. And the necklace, it was just going to be too long of a video. And I forgot about it. I absolutely totally forgot about it. And when I was looking in the little container looking for some scraps, I saw it. And it reminded me that I needed to record it. So that's what we're going to do here today. What I was going to do first and what I was coming to this gorgeous white mat was I was going to work with actually some beads and a bead strand that Jesse James Beads had on their Instagram this morning. Here is my tray of some goodies that I'm going to be working on this month. And one of the mixes that we're going to be using is this Lemon Sun. And this is part of the Market Fresh Mini Mix. There is the Lemon Yellow Sun. There's Blueberry Pie. There's Orange Bell Pepper. And also the Rainbow Water Ice. And we are actually going to be working with Illuminating and the Market... The fresh market, the market fresh mini mix in lemon sun, as well as one of the color classics canary bead strands, and that was what I was going to be working on next. However, though, I found this and thought we would go ahead and work on that first. And I think I know why it was off to the side. Here's why. <clears throat> I'm getting ready for it here. I was going to use one of the beads from the Apricot Delight bead strand. However, if any of you guys know me, I don't want to cut into a bead strand. Whether it was sent to me or whether I got it in a box, I in a mystery box, I don't like cutting into strands. So what do I do to avoid that stress is that I buy a second one and I just received that second strand. So we might dip into this strand here to pull off or pull a center bead from for, uh, for this necklace. However, though, I still have tons of beads left over in the daisy mix that I might just go ahead and use. And what I did was I wanted just a short necklace and I have some links here. And what I did was I directly wire wrapped to the chain using some 22 gauge wire. I think it's 22 gauge wire. And then had a, a few links here. And so then what I was gonna do was do the same thing over here with that little component, attach it directly, and then have a centerpiece bead. I'm not sure what that centerpiece bead is going to be. I was looking at this one here and thinking that that one would just be beautiful. And again, who would want to cut into this strand? Look at all of the gorgeous chunky bead caps. Look at these bead. These bead caps are actually, you can buy them separately, these bead caps. And look at those. Oh, they're just so beautiful. And so we're probably not going to use that one because I have another project in mind to use some of those. I was practicing with some triple strand silver silk the triple strand uh, findings. And so I have this here and all I've been waiting for is to have a nice good chunky bead to connect on one end to elongate this. Because when I made this, I made this, goodness, I, 
over a year or two ago. And I only had a certain amount of this color of capture of uh, capture chain. And uh, I could, it just, it isn't long enough. And so I need to have, let's see, it's not, let me get this wrapped around here a little bit. I need a, like a good bead and we'll go ahead and, and um, do something with that. And I'm thinking that one of the beads from here might work. Maybe one of the pearls. Okay, so that's gonna go off to the side. Then I pulled some 22 gauge wire from my spool that I have. And so we're gonna kind of work from the spool. I'm not gonna cut off a piece and then go for it. I'm gonna go ahead and put my little bead stack together. Again, this is from the daisy chain. So I have one of those little tiny bicones, one of those little tiny rhinestone spacers, and then one of the cubes, and then another rhinestone spacer, and another little bicone. Okay, and then I have it kinked over here at the end so that they don't fall off. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make a wire wrap loop. I'm gonna come down about an inch and a half. This is thinner than your 20 gauge, so the wrapping doesn't take as much wire, I think, maybe. I don't know. It's early. <laughs> so now let's go ahead and get that formed over the top there, rotate the wrist, push that to the back, and just make sure that you're all nice and centered. So we have that nice centered loop. You can use your fingers. I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up a little bit, and I'm going to attach one of my ends here. And I'm gonna close it up, and then I'm gonna add my chain nose pliers, the tip of my chain nose pliers, on the loop as close as I can to this tail wire that's sticking out. I'm gonna go ahead and just lock that in place while I grab. I like using uh, the bent chain nose pliers just because of the angle. And you're gonna go ahead and wrap three times. And I'm gonna go around one more time. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna cut it yet, and here's why. When I trim the tail off and then use my chain nose pliers to uh, bring it together or to tuck in that tail, if I don't have a bead going up against this, I just totally massacre it. So we're I just leave it hanging there for a little bit, come over to this side here, Again, it's 22 gauge, so I'm gonna be at the very tippy tip of my chain nose pliers, and I'm gonna have that 90 degree angle, and I'm gonna come in about the same place I was for the other side. I'm going to form over the barrel, not pulling, just forming over, and then I'm gonna to push to the back and get this all nice and centered. Before I start wrapping, I'm gonna go ahead. I say that all the time. I really try not to say I'm gonna go ahead all the time. It's just my little, I guess, preface to what I'm gonna be doing. Then let's close this up, just like we did the other side, because I opened it up a little bit. My chain nose pliers are right up against this a tail here, they're, it's, they're not sitting on top of where the wires cross. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that around three times. I do not need my bent chain nose pliers since this one is, this tail piece is so long. And, and you notice I wasn't rubbing as I was working along. And the reason why is because I don't wanna warm up that wire because now it's gonna go in the scraps pile for the next part. Because I'm probably gonna use some of that in making a, maybe maybe we'll make a head pin. It kind of depends on what, what um, bead I use. I'm trying to get that tucked in there. 
and I'm not sure I'm getting it tucked in. You just have to be careful because you have this glass bead up next to it. Okay, and so now I'm gonna trim off this end. And then so for that whole component, I wasted this much, that's it. And my dear friend Vicki said that she works from the spool now. And I love it, because I do that with beading wire where I work from the spool. All right, now what I wanna do, oh, and what else I have is I have a lobster clasp. I have a closed jump ring, and I know it's closed because I attached it to the lobster clasp. Now it is a little bit larger than these other two here, but sometimes I, I don't wanna get them mixed up. These are four millimeter 18 gauge. And what I was trying to do was find the gold tones that match the chain as much as possible because I like for them to match as much as possible. Okay, let's open this up here and see what we're going to use. Now, we're not gonna use tassels. I don't think I'm gonna throw in any color. I have an idea for those. We could use, oh, that's pretty. Oh, I love these round ones here. They have a little bit of a green and they're like a drop. They're just like a smushed drop. And that would look really pretty. And keep it kind of dainty because this is a very short necklace or I can have I can do a little something with these beads here and then with the drop I could do a little something like that but man this is so pretty oh I think I'm gonna use that I think I'll use this and I know it's going to throw off now. I don't, now I don't have a, another one for that. Mm, no, I really like this. Okay. And this is mine. So I will make it just like that. And I thought of maybe we can do, well, maybe we can stack up a few, like four of those. Maybe we can stack those up and just keep it. And just keep it the same. Let's go ahead and do that. Let me keep even because I do have something in mind for those other drops. All right. As you can see, I've made a couple projects. This is a third project and I still have quite a bit. So what we're going to do is we are going to make a knotted head pin. And then the loop that's up at the top is going to be fairly large and here is why because I need to uh, I'm going to connect those wires directly I'm not going to use any jump rings okay so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up because when making the knotted head pin we need to have it I'm actually going to use this end give it a little bit of a trim and I shouldn't have worn a sweater when working with wire because my the wire gets tangled in my sweater but like I said it's pretty cold it's been cold this weekend which is great I love that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around twice and when I see the tail come back around the second time I'm gonna just bend that straight up and I keep the coil in my round nose pliers because it's really easy it's easier to bend that straight up when you have your, uh, when you have that little coil in your round nose pliers. Let's go ahead and grab this, bring that down, and nylon jaw pliers. Let's grab those. And when I picked up a piece of paper, I saw my next project that I'm gonna be working on too. Okay, and then get that, and then I, I like to sort of flatten it out. I know that's not the point of a knotted head pin. It's to have some texture and it be um, looking like a rosette, 
but I always, I don't know why, I always do it like that. Okay, so now let's thread on these four, and I'm not going to put anything in between, I don't think. Mm. I don't know, maybe we should put, maybe we should put those, I think I have more tiny. So I'll need one. Two, three. Let's see if I have three. If I have three, then we're in business. Two. Oh, there's the third one. Okay, so maybe we'll do that. We'll see what it looks like. Again, I still have tons of these daisies. And I will be using them. I think we're going to do some... We're gonna do like a simple loop project, which I don't do often, but we are going to. So let's see what that looks like here. And am I moving too far out of focus? I have some memory wire there because I'm gonna be working with memory wire. That looks like one got away. <clears throat> okay. So we have that. Mm, I don't know. I think I might like it without. Here I am going back and forth. So sorry. So sorry. Ooh, I like it without. Okay, so we get to save these for another day. Okay, so now that I have this, and it looks kind of wonky down here. You see that it's not really centered up a little bit. So let's just try and get this centered up. When I say centered up, it's just so that it sits on there a little bit nicer. There we go. Okay. Now what I want to do is I do not need a long neck on this. However, I do want a larger. I'm going to bring out my larger round nose pliers. Push that around and then all I'm going to do is just get this all nice and centered okay then we are going to have this one here okay and then we'll add this one here Okay, so I was just looking at the loops, how the loops were going there. So now, now that we have that all figured out and sorted out, I can go ahead and do my wire wrapping. And I guess my loop didn't have to be that big, but I kind of dig it. And then let's go ahead and get this as close as we can. And let's wire wrap. And you can do yourself just a three wrap and let it be or if you want to make a bulky wrap I don't want a bulky wrap not for this project and then I have enough for another knotted head pin and then let's turn this around and I can hold on to that since I have a little bit extra to hold on to and then let's get this tucked in Oh, that's so pretty. And this is the front. So I'm going to turn this around. And what's the front to me is where the wire wrap starts. So that's what front is for me. So now I'm going to turn that around so that I know I'm going to put my clasp on this side. Use one of those thick four millimeter 18 gauge jump rings. I 
I'm so glad I've been able to record this weekend. I've been able to record a lot, but at the expense of my husband hasn't been home. He has been at my father-in-law's this weekend. He lives in the next town, so I, oops. He lives in the next town, so I get to see him still. Let's get this. Wow, these are thick. I'm not doing a very good job of getting them closed up at all. And I don't know if it's just because of the... So I did the unthinkable and just bossed it around a little. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open up this one. And then on this side, we are going to connect it to the to the closed jump ring. Now, I do like to use a closed jump ring whenever I can. Sometimes I can't. And if it's for me, I'm okay with that. But I will not, not use a closed jump ring on anything I'm going to sell or... Um, give out as a gift. I'm going to have to do that again. I don't know if it's my pliers or it's just thick. Okay, so there we have, oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. Let's see, here's the front. Yep. I love this. Cannot wait to wear it. I love that you can, you can do whatever you want with these little guys down here. They are, um, you can twist one. I mean, it's tight, but it's movable. And I love the little added component here and this gold paperclip chain that I absolutely love. We have a little bit of scrap and then we have this leftover. I don't consider this a scrap. I can use this for another knotted head pin or for uh, some more components. And so I'm okay with that. So please give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it. Comment. I love to see what everybody has to say and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.